talking about this. We were going up to Alaska this weekend, and um, we were talking about where where are the the decent Democrats? Because there they ha- there, there there has to be millions of them out there that just say, "Come on, this is ridiculous." Really? Do you not see? Anything because I mean our side can we can look at Mitt Romney and say I don't like this and I do do like this I don't like this and I do like this and then you you look at it and say I'm generally I'm going this way I don't see the reluctant Obama voters do you the only the only people I see that are, are for Obama are zealots that can, can't be the case obviously I mean with the you know forty some odd percent are going to vote for him. I mean, not everyone's a Obama, you know, devotee. He's he's still winning people over who mainly, I think, aren't paying attention. People who there that aren't many people. Yeah, I mean, I, think, oh, I just don't see. Well, I know, don't see a lot of people who um, were Barack Obama supporters that are that were like, look, man. I mean, I, he signed an executive order where you can pick up an American citizen off the street. Doesn't that doesn't that shock people? Well, it should shock, especially the ones, and these are the zealots, the ones who were continually crying and screaming about Bush, right? Doing all the uh, warrantless wiretaps and all that. I I just doing worse things. I I don't understand that. I don't understand where the good Christians, where they are. When you look at Mm -hmm. that list, do you remember that list we put out that had what was it, ten pages of all the things that Barack Obama had done to curb freedom of religion? Yeah, just that one issue. Yeah, I mean, and it was shocking. And where are the good Christians who are like, look, I'm a Democrat, but, I mean, you guys have taken God out of the platform. You um, it, you won't recognize Jerusalem as the um, as the centerpiece or the capital of, of Israel. I mean, and you took it out. You've you've made all of these um, issues about religion. You misquote Jesus all the time. You talk mm-hmm. about collective salvation all the time. None of those things. I you know I I like you and I might be a good guy and I disagree with some of your policies now, but you haven't done what you said. And these things are disturbing. Yeah, and it, every once in a while, though, a guy like. Uh, Jeremy Scahill of The Nation will show up and say something on national TV. Uh, and I think this was on MSNBC, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Where he actually called out MSNBC's coverage the audio? of the national convention. Yeah. Listen to this, because this is, I have respect. This nation, hardly ever happens. But this is The Nation. It's amazing. Okay, so it's, it's we couldn't be more different. I actually have respect for this guy, mm-hmm. because at least he said what he meant, and he meant what he said. And he's he's standing up and saying, look, guys, you've sold out. Who are you? Listen to this. And, and, and if you're going to oh, geez. It was like the, use oh, Osama no. bin Laden's uh, killing as a football to spike on the national stage, I want the president of the United States to explain to the American people why, why, I, I, if you're I going mean, to use it in such a jingoistic way, yes, if you're going to use it in such a cynical way. I agree with you about the drone policy, but it would be political malpractice to A, not kind of milk the bin Laden thing on the national stage when you're running against the Republicans. I, 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 I travel in countries where, 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 in, where these drone strikes happen. I, I'm not talking about political malpractice. Right, but I'm we're talking, about, talking potent- about the convention. So there's two different things. There's the discussion about the president's foreign policy, but then there's also the discussion about kind of how they're using that foreign policy to win a very important election. But, but many of the media discussions, including here on, on MSNBC, about foreign policy, policy during the convention felt like we were watching an Obama for America meetup, not an Thank actual you. serious critique of this president's most egregious aspects of his foreign policy, where you do see that of the Republicans. There's all of this going after Romney, and I think it's completely legitimate. But some of the core issues of this president's national foreign uh, national security policy are not being debated. And, and I'm sorry, but watching John Kerry and Joseph Biden criticizing uh, the, the war in Iraq. They voted for the war in Iraq. Joe Biden <laughs> was the chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and shut down debate uh, about Iraq when, when it was being debated in this country. I mean, there's revisionism, there's jingoism. To, to me, I'm not thinking about this from a cynical political perspective. I'm talking about life and death issues that cut to the heart of are we going to follow the Constitution when it comes to due process well, for American put, citizens. How about Listen that? to that guy. Yeah. I'd vote for that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, no, don't sign that paper least, yet. No, 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 no. Listen, you'd vote for that guy over Barack Obama. At least he's honest about it. He's honest about mm-hmm. it. And he's for the nation. 
So I disagree with him, but at least he's having the conversation. At least he's saying what he means and means what he says. And he's calling MSNBC out. Where are the Democrats like that? Where are the Democrats that say, this guy's off the rails? Mm -hmm. I can't I can't believe that there's anyone. And this is why you don't have this debate, that there's anyone in America that believes that you should be able to round up and hold indefinitely without a warrant or a trial an American citizen. I can't imagine anybody actually believes that the president of the United States can do that just by a flick of a pin, that he should be able to kill American citizens in our own, within our own shores. I don't believe anybody believes that. That's why we don't have the debate. I don't believe that you can look at gas prices and say this president's energy policy is right. This this guy is going to help us become more energy independent. You want to fix the federal deficit? You want to fix the problems that we have? Start drilling for our own energy. Take our own energy and do it in a responsible way. Do you know how much you know how many tax dollars we would be pouring into our own coffers? Instead of the Saudi dollars, all of those all of those dollars staying here in America. Do you know what kind of job creation? Do you know what kind of um, uh, tax revenue the evil Exxon would then have to pay? We don't have those conversations because nobody in the media is being honest. And quite honestly, I, I wonder where the good Democrats are. Why are they not saying anything? 